Yo, it's your boy, boy, boy. You to the YouTube day. <laughs> Got another reaction for you out today. Yo, man. This preview day for my Dallas Cowboys. So we're going to check out with this in a week four week uh, preview, game preview of my Dallas Cowboys versus the Carolina Panthers, who we play Sunday at noon. So let's see what they got to say. Uh, what, well, what's the uh, preview for three these two teams? The Dallas Cowboys hit the road for week four off to Carolina where they get a Panther squad that people are looking at very differently all of a sudden. And the same concept applies to Sam Darnold. The look on the face of the 24 year old is good. Forget, was it Brady or Belichick? How about was it the Jets or Darnold? And like Brady, so far at least, the upper hand is Sammy Deeds. He's never started off a season like this, and as Lloyd Christmas might have told him after watching his latest outing, you totally redeemed yourself. With a little bit of help from his friends. The Cowboys defense will have to pay special attention to DJ Moore, as Darnold has relied on him heavily in all three games, and especially in their last one. It's fortunate all that right. DJ Moore didn't keep going up the field. But what's been up with him and Robbie Anderson? Instead of a glorious reunion between two long lost brothers, it's looked more like an awkward first date between middle schoolers. Darnold barely <laughs> making eye contact with Anderson most of the time. Anderson spins out of one tackle. And Darnold will have to be a little more careful walking the QB tightrope this week because no safety net and CMC to fall on if things get wobbly in the pocket. Not good, and you'll see it right here. Christian McCaffrey is out of this game. And speaking that's of big wobbly, loss that's how you might describe his O-line lately. That's a big Sacks loss. allowed across three games. One, then two, then three last week. Darnold's rating in each game dipping a bit. Not likely a coincidence. Darnold immediately gets oh. pressure right up in his face. Got a week off of the nerve. pass rush. Two sacks against the Eagles last week. Oh, Hurts is swallowed up. Osa Odigizua. Their pass D was even better. They gave up a lot of yards and a couple TDs, but two picks against Jalen Hurts as well, and a lot of his production came in garbage time. Jalen Rager can't get there. And Dallas may have themselves an elite corner. What a bummer that the Cowboys don't play the Bills, right? Watch Diggs read that route and Trayvon Diggs, Red Smith like a book. But since we're talking defense, let's talk one of the best in the league through three games. Carolina's D had zero issues with Davis Mills. For Miller, it's incomplete. Really? But there was some bad news on this side of the ball, too. Can I just say that it sucks they lost first rounder J.C. Horn to injury? Well, it does, but secondaries often feed off their pass rush, and good news for the Panthers, they have one of the best one-two punches you're gonna find, and it was on full display in week three. I got hit like that as a rookie in Arizona. About it, for it. 10 minutes. About it, for it. against the rookie, and they get home. And as well as Dak Prescott played, he did get sacked four times against the Eagles. And you knew it was gonna be that kind yeah, of night. They knew they were in for a fight. Hard. But that was the only real blemish for Dak and the boys. The rest of Prescott's night was smooth sailing. I love Mike McCarthy. And talk about variety. While Dalton Schultz was his go-to. This is where you know it's just not going to be your night. Prescott sliced up the rest of the pizza into small slices, so no one had more than four targets, completing a pass to seven other pass catchers. Pollard on the quick toss. As for the Cowboys' yes, rush attack, it seems like it's officially a two-headed monster. Downhill. It's, this this yes, run sir. game is just taking its toll. It's a different spice, a different flavor, and a different tempo. Carolina didn't have to try and stop very many ball carriers in their win over Houston, but How's being first in yards per carry allowed for this season? Sam Got it, Chris. We're going to rub it, ball. Peter, this game has upper management written all over it. Easily one of the best games of the week, so I expect a ton of comments from all those fans out there who won't stop pounding, and a ton from the fan base that tends to wear the crown of largest in the country. Comments and score <laughs> predictions, of course, which is what we have at the end of these videos. Now, how about those TPS reports? Okay. All right, and once again, everybody understand this the Cowboys will come town their business. Uh, I'm not impressed. Uh, like I said, I uh, saw they played against the Saints, they played against uh, the, the Jets, and I want to say it, 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 it uh, the first use of Texas. So, uh, Saints are still, the still breakers over there, what the Saints really is, uh, but. The Jets and Houston, Texas, definitely, that's, that's not impressive at all. It's no so different than what the Eagles done. And I, I expect us to handle our business and blow these guys out. And like I said before, uh, in my last video for my Cowboys, 
you know, when Sam Darnold was with the Jets, they kind of blew us out years ago because we didn't come up ready to play. So I spent us to blow them out, had a lot of business. Uh, I did not like how this time that guy hit uh, for us in the pocket. Uh, he still had time, uh, but now he, he got to get rid of that ball. Uh, he, he taking hits like that, and he needs to throw the ball away. But I like, like they said, that was all the issue I had for us for Dak. Uh, but yeah, let's let's. I, I'm gonna go with that uh 34 18 right there. I think that's close where we gonna be going. Uh, I guess the Carolina Panthers. Like I said, they ain't really beat nobody. Be the Jets, Houston, Texas. Come on now. There's some garbage teams they beat. So I, I spent us a blow them out. Take our out this. I think we're gonna get that third win in a row. And uh. But I believe the Carolina Panthers and the Power Rangers make the hitter by Cowboys by two positions. I think the Cowboys were ranked at, uh, around 14. And I think the Panthers have got, a lot of people got the Panthers, the uh, Power Rangers at 12. So, which, they, they got the Chargers ranked ahead by Cowboys, which I don't understand because we beat the Chargers. But anyway, we'll talk about that next week. But anyway, I got the Cowboys. We're going to take on our business. We're going to blow them out at here, at, here at home. It's your boy Warburg with my reaction to the game preview of the Dallas Cowboys, the Carolina Panthers. Go Cowboys! Out.